have some NWSL trading cards. If I give them to you, will you get the forms to sign them? Do you want me to sign anything? No. Hmm. Just the players? Yes. All right, let's see how the rest of these questions go. If you're nice and friendly, we'll definitely get your Thorns trading card signed, okay? Thank you. What do you think the players have learned from you over the last six years? What I hope they've learned, I really hope they've learned the importance of being a good teammate, how taking care of your teammates, not, not only is it the right thing to do and it helps them and elevates them, it also uh, means a lot to you and, and helps you as a, as a person, as an athlete. I hope that I've been able to spread that message. Why do you have to travel so much? Can you only play at home? I want you to. I would, I would love, I think we would all love to be able to play in this stadium uh, every, every game. I'm not pretty sure the way team would want that, but... No, you're no, correct, no. because this is a big advantage, because we have the best fans in the world. It's really hard when we travel, and I really miss you and Mama so much. <laughs> um, but we need to. Even though it's hard, it's a great experience to see different cities and different states. We're very lucky in the NWSL. There are great supporter groups. We're just very fortunate that we have the very best right here. It has a woof woof attitude to this one. Okay. Will you ever bring your pet chihuahua in for the team to meet? You're Frankie. embarrassed. Frankie. I'm not embarrassed of Frankie. He's the most adorable, cutest dog in the world. But I also, he's quite nervous and... He's yeah, nervous? I don't want him to, I don't know, have a nibble on one of the player's ankles. Got to protect the players. <laughs> and I want all the cuddles for myself when I get home from work. I have heard that you have a very pretty amazing daughter. What, what are some of the favorite memories you've made with her at Bourne's Games? Yeah, I do have an amazing daughter. E.D. Parsons. Thank you. And you're doing great with your interview skills. Thank you. Um, Do I take that as a very big compliment? Well, I have actually, I have amazing memories. Your mum, my wife at games, seeing you at games is the best part of game day. One of my, one of my favourite moments is when you get to do the rose with Kling mm -hmm. and the fans join in with you. I'm going to really, really miss that. I hope I hope they let us come back and we get to see you do that another year because it's been, it's been magical. And one of my memories that really sticks out, after we won a championship, you did an interview after the game. Do you remember that? No, don't. In Orlando. In Orlando, yes, I thought you meant the one here. Yeah. Do you remember who interviewed you? No. I do remember what she looks like, Pat. I don't Jordan remember. Angeli interviewed yes. you, and you were incredibly cute. You answered very, very well, and you had a little pose at the end of the interview. Whenever I see that video, I, I scream, because I don't believe how cute I am. Okay, all I right. Scream. Uh, humility we, I is something we need to work on, but, but that's a process, and we'll get there. <laughs> We've got to work on your humility, yeah. haven't we? <laughs> 